I do not know. Hey, Goose, that Anthony Edwards guy is really dead, isn't he? Is he dead? I think so. No. 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 Oh, just, oh, just in the movie. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's so real in the movie, I always think he's dead. It's so sad. Anyway. All right, so the format is here. Their new album is called Dog Problems, and you can get it anywhere, including iTunes, which I find to be quite handy. Yeah, I, I, I use the mission Minnesota Missouri Gorge. You know what? Thanks. Fire film, rad, broadcasting, rad, the whole damn you've fanny bath. You've added film now. Yeah, <laughs> film. We're in the film. Well, that's where the money is, buddy. <laughs> I can uh, imagine so, the, so. So we bring out a big group and we watch the uh, jet planes and then we take a canoe ride over to Davy Pier. Yeah. Get on the Ferris wheel. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> canoe ride. At the, yeah. And we, we're, we've got a lot of canoes out of the raft. Oh, good so thing that a, guy in Thailand jumped on the grenade. Were you there, Clue? Yeah. I was going to say he's probably one of his biggest customers. Until he got busted. No comment. <laughs> Famous Dave's legendary pit barbecue is the perfect solution for any event you've got cooking. Whether you're feeding a crowd of 10 to 10,000 or 10 mouths that eat like 10,000, Famous Dave's has got you covered. Dave's spent 25 years searching the country for the perfect barbecue recipe. He has basically dedicated his life to meat, and sauce, and smoke. Uh, what do you call the Holy Trinity of Barbecue? Barbecue! St. Louis style spare ribs. Kind of, kind of, kind of a black thing happening there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the kid likes, Stephen. You know, I've grown over the last... It's Afro class. Afro. It's, it's, it's what the kids want, and I grow with the time. <laughs> You have to. And with the kids. Right. And Slathered at Dave's own award-winning Ritz and Sassy barbecue sauce. Remember them? Weren't they on CKC once? Ritz and Sassy? Yes, they were. Oh, Middays. Yeah. I think they did middays. Or try one of Dave's fresh salads, including crispy chicken salad. <laughs> Dave's Sassy barbecue salad and smoked salmon Caesar salad. <laughs> they also have famous desserts like his homemade bread pudding and fudge Kahlua brownie. Taste this for yourself. Visit Famous Dave's at Orland Park today. <laughs> anyway, and anywhere, Famous Dave's is always famous. Now back to Baldo Circus, already in progress. <laughs> yeah! Thank you very much. We got to take another break and we'll come back and do the headlines with Buzz. Don't go away. More from the Oak Street Beach Stroll. We're back on the beach with the Steve Tall Show, live from Oak Street Beach. Presented by Townstone Financial and brought to you in part by Country Insurance, Balance for Life, and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Lord the Night Walk. Back. Stay tuned for more here on 105.9 WCKG Free FM. Stan and Terry get you to work middays on Free FM. We are chatting with our buddy Bob Saget. Did this movie with the guaranteed low price by GE's Clean Steel Appliances that resist fingerprints. A front load washer from LG that uses steam to clean. And that's just a name of few. At the Home Depot, you'll always find the latest innovations and newest styles. So for selection, quality, and our guaranteed low price, there's only one place to go for appliances. The Home Depot. <laughs> The format on Gary Myers wandered into our broadcast here. He's being discovered by Phil Rosenthal at the end of the table. Huh, Gary just wandered to do uh, an interview on Channel 2, I believe. Oh, a couple hours ago, Steve, the chicken sandwich and the hot plug at Channel 2. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're hanging out with me again. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I'm not giving interviews today. No? It's, it's your day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I don't want to take away from your day. You're Ferris Bueller today, right? Yeah. Whatever. Taking the day off. Yeah, it's, uh, there you it's go. your day. I don't want to ruin it for you. There you go. Thank you. Buzz? Yes, I am. You uh, ready with the headlines there? Yes, I am, sir. All right. Did you see that TV show with me last night? You know? You know. <laughs> I fell asleep. I can't you make it to 1230 anymore. <laughs> you, and you didn't watch it this morning? You were, you were on America's Got Talent? <laughs> what were you doing? Were you the dancer that changed all the costumes? I, I was voted out the first week or whatever. I don't even know what that show is. But I assume it's one of those kind of shows. 
It was, uh, what, what was that show called? Upscale. Upscale, Upscale, Upscale TV. Chicago. Yeah. You TV it, but you didn't even watch it? After no. all that talk about watching it and reporting of, back to us? A lot of breaking action this morning. Including Drew. What? Oh, it's been a lot. That, Drew, that wasn't here. me. I didn't say that. What? That was Gary's Drew. Oh. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> I might would be more of, what? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Drew can actually talk <laughs> over the afterburners on those jets. Yeah, and you can hear them. <laughs> yeah, we look at them over there not even paying attention. <laughs> yeah, it's all me. I made it all. I called Channel 2. I'm a kid maker. I get them together and I sit back and relax. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's a genius, all right. As long as, it, as long as the traffic's on the eights. That's all, you know, he's good. I went out to Los Angeles with Drew last fall, and we, oh. we went... Something we should know really? about? Really? I thought you knew this. Uh, really? <laughs> a boys weekend. And I did not know you two were an item. He drove three miles to find this particular candy bar. It sounded like you when we used to go to that uh, roast beef place, Philippe's or Philippe? uh, yeah, Philippe, yeah, yeah, Philippe's. You know, we gotta go to those places. He has some place in Los Angeles that has a candy bar that you can't get anywhere else. So, which one, Drew? It's got air in it. Some candy bar with air in it. So I thought, well, this is something Steve would do. We Look, he's pretending like he can't hear, so he can come <laughs> over and get on mic. I, I can't hear! What? what? These giant speakers aren't working, apparently, or something! Let's come over here. Sorry, Buzz, you were doing the news. No, you? no, no. Yeah. He's used to this, as you know. Oh, brother. What's that oh, candy oh, bar? Oh, brother. The oh, last brother. thing Drew oh, Hayes wants brother. to do is be on the air. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait. So I'm behind the microphone. You're in front of it. The real money's behind it. Never mind. There's no doubt. Uh, what are, are you going to, what are you, are you recounting? You, you, that candy bar you would you're drive for, miles for. He wasn't paying any attention. Oh, I'm well, sorry. I didn't hear it over there. Right, because you were talking. Last year when we were in Los Angeles, you were looking for that candy bar that was only sold in a... The Arrow, the Arrow the, candy bar. The Arrow candy bar. You ever heard of this? Because no. you can only get it at the Bristol Farms. You know, you must know Bristol Farms. In the mall? No, Bristol no, no. Farms? No, Bristol Farms, in... Like the L.A. version of White Hand Pantry or Treasure Island. No. You know what I'm talking about, Phil? <laughs> it's a little better than that. But, yeah, we did. And then no, we went no, looking no. for houses together. That was nice. That was uh, uh -huh. a, a Kevin Matthews moment where he just starts talking to somebody walking down the beach. You know where that candy bar is? <laughs> buddy? Buddy? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, Kevin would just talk to anybody walking down the hall. Yeah. Hey, there's a salesman. That's great. Oh, oh thanks. Well, and you guys went looking for a house together? Yeah. Yeah. We did. It was a full L.A. weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then we went to West Hollywood and bought some leather ties. Sure. We, but we, we ate at the Apple Pan. The Apple Pan. Jeez. Did the whole thing. Went to Farmer's Market. That is a great place. If you ever go to Los Angeles, go to the Farmer's Market. Just the two of you? The soft serve? Yeah. 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 I grew up in L.A. I've been to the Farmer's Market a million times. It's still great. Yeah, you know, that's when Drew should have been working on us going to Hawaii, but instead <laughs> that's where we're not going he's to walking Hawaii. around Farmer's Market hand in <laughs> hand with Gary Meyer. Looking for a candy yeah. bar. <laughs> it's not going to happen on my watch. We've got to find an arrow bar. Have you ever been to Dupar's? They've got great berry pies. <laughs> I've been to L.A. I don't... <laughs> well, actually, Phil, was... was that a quality Dupar's reference? Yeah. It was, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what were you boys doing out there? Oh, was that when you had your audition out there? Yeah, or whatever? We, we went out and did some radio. and you know, He went out, was... handheld him during his audition? You yeah. don't do anything for me? Well, I got a for, trip. You've I... been with me for a year. You've done nothing. Oh, you're dry, you're, uh, you're flying comes. Gary out to California and holding his hand and rubbing his back before his big on-air audition for Jack Silver. <laughs> Who wouldn't know a good show if it came up and bit him in the ass? Hey, ah, it, ah, put that ah, on TV! Yeah. Yeah. And smoke it! <laughs> Oh, wait, oh, Phil, hey. I hope you're getting all this. Oh yeah, you saying Adam Carolla sucks? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I can't even hear it. I don't even know. But th no, it was before I actually even worked here. It was, and it was a weekend where traffic and weather were not together on the eights. They were on the sevens because I was out of town. Yeah. So yeah, I wasn't sure. even working here. Like Mussolini, just get the traffic on the eights. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Twelve million dollars. <laughs> They're going to crop his lunch. <laughs> you guys can do whatever you want. Um, That's the $12 million question. I'm still at zero here. Yeah. Million dollar egg yeah. salad. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Something to think about over the weekend, Drew. What are you going to look for a candy bar? I'll get it all fixed up. Yeah. By Monday, it'll be fixed. Okay. Uh, you know.
Huh? Yeah, which yeah. rolls around. Will this, will this even you out with the Hollander Brothers on the Rover thing then? <laughs> are, are you sure set again? Are you good? I'm never going to get even with the city over, <laughs> over Rover. Believe me. That was good stuff, man. I'm sorry. I just wish you'd give him a chance to percolate. <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Can I have a picture with you guys? Yeah. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. I Photo, need it. Photoshop me the one from your LA trip. <laughs> I'm Richard Petty for MTV. And I'm Kyle Petty. It doesn't matter how fast you drive, it takes speed in the pits to win a race. And speed is what you get at MTV. They know what your time's worth, and they're not going to waste any of it. MTV goes the extra mile to get you on your way fast. They do the job right, on time, and at a great price. So count on the pros at NTB to keep your day on track. Summertime is savings time at NTB. You'll find great buys on your 59. NTB, they go the extra mile. So you can too. Call 1 800 U Tire for the NTB nearest you. One good deed deserves another. That's why Western Union offers the Gold Card Rewards Program. It's free to enroll, and every time you use your gold card to send a qualifying transaction, you earn points towards cool stuff like watches, cameras, gift cards, and discounts on West. Oh, Right? Well, no, I'll come do it off there, but I just, you know. Well, you know, uh, there's a lot of interest in this um, impromptu uh, reconciliation, if you will. Yeah. My news director shooed me up at the door so fast, she was just beside herself. Well, here's my quote. Who's going to pay Gary? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my only quote. With yeah, I, I, I'm fine with it. Who's going to pay Gary? <laughs> oh. Oh, I know. oh, don't say that! Who's already I'll out? Make it you know, just the, the well, no, today, work, yeah, this is, this you mean in general? Oh. Yeah, well, in general, yeah, people get paid when they work in, in general. Yeah. In general. In general. And he's well, very unreasonable. I've dealt with him in the past. <laughs> so. Well, we, uh, um, you know, I'm happy to do the interview this way. Uh, that was the interview. Oh. I, I mean, oh. Ah, come on. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I do. How's that Diane Burns lawsuit going? <laughs> Oh, man, those are some nice digs. You know, when somebody comes in and puts a colored only fountain in your house, that's, that's war. You don't have to record this, Dana. I'm sorry, but. I think it's being recorded, though. It, you don't, yeah, like they're going to. This will be on the Christmas tape of Channel 2. Hey, hey, look at oh, this. Oh, no, this will be on the Channel 2 News. <laughs> have you seen that thing lately? Oh. Put just about anything on there. You've rendered me speechless. I'm just kidding. Well, you don't have to participate, but uh, I haven't had a chance to talk about this in an open forum. That was pretty bizarre. I'm, I'm sure you. Oh, the Diane Burns stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not really. I don't remember all the details. Well, but uh, she fill said, me in. Well, she claimed Call that this phone. contractor who built her home was racist. <laughs> oh, and I don't know how. The, what? <laughs> how is that? Ra you have a colored only entrance to your house now that you put up. What? I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, I, I kind of remember it, but I don't remember the details. Yeah, well, that, that was, you know, he's, he supposedly, allegedly did some things that she thought that he wouldn't think black people would notice, which I, uh, I can't imagine what that like, would be. Like, like a, poor workmanship. <laughs> right. I mean, that was the extent right. of the details. That's not the grout we picked out. <laughs> yeah. Stuff like that. Right. You know, what, <laughs> black people know about grout. I don't yeah, Stan, do you have any? Uh, <laughs> oh. I'm out of Stan, our black people expert. <laughs> I spent some time with them. Mm -hmm. She uh, alleges that uh, she got treatment and workmanship. Uh, she got she got the black people's treatment. Yeah. That they didn't uh, square up doors and. Oh, I, that happens to me all the time too, and I'm white. Chips and cabinets and things like that. I think that's just how they build stuff nowadays. Yeah, that's the way it is. There are no square walls or ceilings. Get used to it. <laughs> You're coming up with us now. It's like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Pee Pee Wee's Playhouse. But don't you think before you file that lawsuit, how is this going to play? I mean, a race card in this case. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't. It didn't seem very sympath sympathetic. Right. Really. How do you how do you get anybody behind you on that? Then they go, and she's making two and a half million a year and lives in a three million dollar place. When that gets out, then yeah, you're screwed. Yeah. She but Dana, make, that's not what you're here with, for. With that kind of income, she could have gone up to six or seven. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. She's got a guaranteed contract. Right. She's under, you know, that's she's right. under housed right now. Should have hired an architect. Go architect and then save those problems. Yeah. That's well, my when tip. You, for when her. you have a major renovation like that, I agree. Yes. Uh.
<laughs> and John Stroger, there's a guy. <laughs> you got a minute? <laughs> I didn't know Urkel was his son. <laughs> that guy's Urkel. I know. Urkel's in charge or something. Yeah. How did that happen? I don't know. But he's, uh, I believe he's still wrapped up like the mummy somewhere. People voted for him even though he knew he was incapacitated. That's a mind blower. Well, there's a lot of people that work for the county. Yeah, apparently. So they don't want to, you could you be know, in a coma and still win. Well, they don't want to, you know, upset the status quo. Sure. Hey, you know, we can maybe do commentary on Channel 2 with this kind of stuff. You yeah. looking? <laughs> I'll check. I'll ask. You want to oh, go yeah. back to Channel 9 so bad right now, don't you? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm very happy with Channel 2, but yeah, like I said, you know, I'm just uh, listening, listening to what y'all have to say. Didn't you handle the lottery balls at one point? No, that was not me. Linda Colmeyer. That's Linda Colmeyer. That was Linda not Colmeyer. me. Okay. Yeah. Remember, we have new FCC guidelines now. Uh, the lottery balls. I, that, I'm strictly the um, that was Linda, hard news. Yeah, that was Linda Colmeyer you're thinking of. <laughs> that poor woman's got to be there at 920 every night to pick those balls. No. So no matter what she's doing, she races over to Channel 9. I think the only other thing she does is teach a spin class. <laughs> so. so she's got a nice yeah. open I schedule. Think she's pretty free to do stuff. But, uh, I mean, I'll talk to you if you off the air if you want, but oh, I, I don't it. really have much to say. I'd love it. Oh, I'm sure you'll come up with something. And I'll do <laughs> I mean, I've uh... said it all. Who's going to pay Gary Meyer? That's what, you know. I'll tell that you, though, be I, the was, headline. I was walking up, and there were a lot of people listening saying, this is such a big deal. They were so excited that you oh, guys were back think, together yeah! again. Yeah! At least for the day. Yeah. Well, I think that's true. And it's nice, you know, it's nice to see Gary, and it's nice to, after all of the things that we did together, to have a, you know, a nice, a fun yeah, it's, afternoon. It's an Does interesting this mean... But who's going to pay it? That's, I keep going <laughs> back to me. that. Not me, yeah. not me. Not me! <laughs> God, I've heard this before. Wendy? <laughs> no way. Buzz? No. no. Stan? I'm just hoping to keep my gig. <laughs> Good. Whenever two white men get together, it's always bad for the blacks. Yeah, you might be right in this case. Drew, I've never seen Drew more excited. Uh, he's been walking around with him, you know, holding a magazine in front of him all afternoon. Got the chubby? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Stan is like, damn. All right. Uh, and, but see, the thing is, I got to go to the bathroom, and I can't get to the bathroom unless I go past you. So doesn't this count as an interview so I can go to the bathroom? It, uh, it, it, uh, half an interview. How about one question off, off, uh, off air? Come Just on. for our viewers. Oh, right. Plus, you look better without the headphones on. Uh, oh, that's true. Uh, <laughs> All right, here, but can I ask you, someone just said, uh, someone just said on the air, does this mean, I asked Gary the same thing, have you guys buried the hatchet? So uh, I think, yeah, I guess so. It seems uh, like it. Yeah. Well, obviously, to be sitting here, you have to move forward, and I think that's what we've done, at least at this point. Yeah, I, think, I, mean, I gotta say, on. at this I, point I in was, your life, you're gonna carry. Hey, I'm trying to talk. Huh? What? <laughs> this is how it started. <laughs> Stan's going, damn, that's good. I like that when they interfere. Oh, yeah, man, they, oh that's Steve it. hates that's that, it. man. Oh, the wheels are coming off now. <laughs> oh man. Well, what were you saying? Go ahead. I was just gonna say that I, it was, I was very impressed that Gary came up because he was over there having lunch, and I said he should come up, and he came up. So. You it's know. nice. It is nice. Yeah. It's good to hear. And, um, you know, age does that, doesn't it? It sort of makes us put things in perspective. Yes, it does. Oh, all right. Sorry. You can tell Dr. Phil's on Channel 2. <laughs> She's watching Dr. Phil in the office. What I want to tell you now is age is, puts everything in perspective, doesn't it? You've got to kiss her more. You ain't right with her. Good. Good. All right, but I, okay, but can I go to the bathroom first and then answer the question? Because I really have to go to the bathroom, but I haven't gone down there. I, oh, absolutely. Yes, yeah, please, please, please. We'll be right here waiting. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Will this be on TV? Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah. At this point, you're, um, you're one of our top stories, if not the top story on our 6 o'clock news. Oh, 6 right. o'clock news? Yeah. What? Yeah. What happened at 10 o'clock? And, oh, I'm I'm believe me, you'll be on the 10 o'clock. Yeah, we'll, we'll be really right behind that Thailand creep. Right, watch. <laughs> and another news. <laughs> oh, great. Him doing the perp walk and then us. I'll make sure that doesn't happen, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you, Dana. Dana Kozlov, Channel 2. Yeah. Thank you.
20 minutes yeah. as the Jack Minimum. Daniels is coursing to my sister. Oh, I got a better one than that. We're down in Bloomington. Got the magic tricks out. I get in the basket where you put the swords in. Wouldn't let him out of the basket. He sat on top of the basket for 20 friggin' minutes, and now I'm claustrophobic in there. I mean, really, I'm literally in he's a little pounding. basket. He's pounding I'm, on this I'm freaking glass. out, and he's sitting there. You know, on the way down here, we stopped at this place where there was some mutant playing an organ with a mirror over his head. I'm like, oh, God, help me. And he's, I'm hearing this pounding and feeling this thumping oh, underneath God. me because I sealed up his air hole because there's like an air hole on the top, and I just sat right over it. Going back to that Milwaukee show, when we were in the hotel room, we were practicing the magic tricks. In the hotel room, we had doves flying all over the room. I'm in the, the saw in half box. As the room service guy comes up, and this is Milwaukee. They don't see this kind of stuff, right? The guy walks in. I'm in the box. Steve's sawing me in half. Right. Yeah, just put it on the bed. Oh, oh God. What are you guys doing? And then remember the program director from the station came over and wrestled with his intern wait, wait, on the yeah. bed? Okay. Yeah. This, we were like Siegfried and Roy light that whole weekend. You know, no, you get in the box. No, you get in the box. No, let me cut you in half. Why don't you two just get married? Luckily, I was too big to get in any of the boxes. So. so I'm in my room after we rehearsed the magic tricks. The phone rings. It's Steve. Get over here, man. This guy's starting to wrestle me. And I go, what are you talking about? The program director. So I go over there, and they had just finished wrestling. Apparently, they were sitting on Steve's bed, the guy that was running the station we were on. And they were sitting there watching television. All of a sudden, the guy just started wrestling Steve on the bed. Yeah. And then I got up, and so he started wrestling with his, like, his intern. <laughs> so he wanted me to come over to kind yeah. of break it up. And they were just, like, wrestling. Yeah, like, just, all of a sudden, just yeah. start wrestling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's come back here soon. And, you know, at the time, he didn't want to do anything to get kicked off the station. So, so. he wrestled him for an hour and let him go. <laughs> <laughs> I even let him win. Yeah, just to make nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a couple, just a couple of falls. All right, pin me again. Pin me. <laughs> All right, um, so, uh, where was I? We were in Milwaukee. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so the magic trick. So, Buzz, that we, we were reminiscing about that, and then how he came out, and he was slightly disoriented, but that was his first onstage harmonica playing. Got paid $20. Yep. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Which I think, uh, what you get, 40 that night? I got 40. <laughs> yeah, so. I keep telling you, Buzz, 20's not that bad. I'm still living off that money. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't have to work. <laughs> oh, we made so much money on those things. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, some of us did. <laughs> oh, God, here it comes. Stan's going, follow that line. Stay on that. Stay on that tab. Come on. I maybe made 60, yeah. but I had to do the booking and everything. You know, so I took a little off the I top. think the, and I don't know if people are bored listening to the reminiscing here, but one of the oh, most amazing oh. times was when we went out to Los Angeles to be on that CBS show for a week. When Pat Sajak left, they were, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They were they're using various people to audition. Oh, my God. Talk about a lost week there. I think when they paid us... 10,000, we spent 50 just having fun. Yeah. It was one of those things where... That, that's where we hung, we hung out with Rick James in the China Club. Right. Yeah. Rick James, and then we were sitting by the pool, and Julia Roberts walked in with Kiefer Sutherland. She looked terrible. Yeah. And we commented. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've hung with the stars, yeah. you know. Yeah, that was a good week. I don't, oh, I don't think I've ever been more scared as the moment we walked down the stairs on that set. We're live on CBS television, on network television. We don't have anything prepared. We're going to have to live this show. And I put, so I pushed Gary down the stairs. So What uh, a great opening. I'm like, and he's so mad about it. Oh, it's ridiculous. God. Talk about scared to death. Yeah, that was well, we pretty, got through that week. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah, well, we, we, had a good time. we made a good time out of it. You know, yeah. you take a lemon, and you know what you do with it. You throw it at a car. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then they stop. All right. Uh, I need to... You want to do another one, or do you want to... Uh, Cliff, are you I still... Mean, yeah, I'll do another all one. Right, because it's... I mean, it sounds fantastic, and it certainly takes the pressure off of me. All right. This is for... I'm going to read in front of people. This is for all you pedophotic fans. If you really got into movies, you would know that Chris Isaacs was one... What's the name of the guy who played the cloud in Married to the Bob? For those of you who didn't know that, it's okay. So you can see why I passed it off to you. Yeah, this is yeah. a tricky one, Stephen. Yeah. And for those of you pro. who do, well, that's pretty scary. Either way, you should be watching your movies on a pedophotic plasma TV. Imagine a 103-inch pedophotic Wait. plasma TV. Excuse me one second, Cliff. I just like to blow Gary's mind. I blew it with a Matt doll. Hey, Mike doll, stand up. Let, let Gary see you. Oh my God, I haven't seen these guys since they were like three. Isn't that weird? Yeah, yeah it's very Mike weird. Mike Dahl, Comcast Sportsnet. Dan, glad to meet you. 
And that's at a 103th Pathetic Plasma TV. Now that's Remember that summer you had the boys out at the ranch cliff and I had to call the authorities? I've got something to read here, Stephen. Uh, <laughs> if you're not watching a Pathetic Plasma TV, then you're only getting a third of the picture. Pathetic Plasma TVs have three times the contrast and three times the color. With the Pathetic Plasma TV, you'll get the sharpest, clearest picture you've ever seen. Pathetic <laughs> also features a great support plan that gives you priority when scheduling service visits and phone support anytime you need it. Visit Panasonic.com for all the details. If you're someone who really gets into movies, watch them on a Panasonic Plasma. Back to you, Stephen. Thanks, Cliff. You're welcome. Here's another one for you. Hey. <laughs> We're a little backed up. Have we left the birth here? <laughs> I think they could afford another person on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> or two. If you need a, to secure financing on a new home or refinance your existing home, then you need to call David Hockberg. Hockberg? Yes. $50,000 out of their home to pay off their son's debt. If you co-sign for anything and the other person misses the payment, you are going down with them. <laughs> so be careful. Have a nice day. <laughs> Call David today at 312-896-2111. That's 312-896-2111. Or visit his website, T-O-W-N-S-T-O-N-E.com. Tune in to the Townstone Financial Show, hosted by David Hawksburg, every Sunday morning from 9 to noon. Townstone Financial is an equal housing lender at an Illinois residential mortgage. Back to you, Stephen. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, sir, Cliff. That's David Hawksburg out there. I, that's, a, that's a very complicated one, David. Yeah, was that a late night writing one? You get a couple of, you know, a couple of glasses of Manischewitz in you, and it just starts coming out, doesn't it? I'm going to make a little story out of this one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, make it an arc, a story arc. All right, well, we're at the Oak Street Bistro, and we'd like to thank Townstone Financial for sponsoring the show. I know it's raining out there a little bit, but it's not so bad, right? That's yeah, the beach. Cools things off. Pretty soon, we're going to have a wet t-shirt contest. All right. Just like the old days. <laughs> Jerry, look, Jerry looks fantastic. In he does. He does. <laughs> if he's still shaving his chest. Of course. As I assume he is. I swim faster. You know that. Townstone Financial, Balance for Life. Uh, Troy's here today. I, I saw Troy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who said that? Where's the disgruntled person in the audience? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> You turn off the crowd, Mike, when they get disgruntled, I always say. <laughs> Feel free. By the way, Stephen, we have some Barrett traffic building on Lake Ford Drive. Back to you now. <laughs> Thanks, Cliff. Did you hear the disgruntlement? Did you hear that? Yeah, that was just a burst there, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Still, the remotes, that's how they always are. You know, I, mean, I could you know. get up there and strangle you right now. You've heard that one before, too. From Mike Royko. Mike Royko. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, now. Reminiscent here. And then one time we were at the Berghoff, and a guy came and he oh, goes, comes up to me and goes, I'm a carpenter, you're no and you're no good. Goes, oh, somebody else do that. Yeah. And I go, what does that mean? I'm a carpenter, and you're no good. That was such a weird remote broadcast that I was glad when the Berghoff closed. Yeah. Just for that. Yeah, Just for too. that reason. Yeah. I, I carry a grudge. You know? Me too. I, well, I know. We both do. What? <laughs> well, something in the paper? So, uh, yeah, so anyway, so, you know, it still happens at the remote. So, you know, people just, you know, right, whatever. Uh, so, Troy, I believe Troy is here. I'm not sure why he's here. I don't know that we're giving away anything today, or are we looking, are we looking at fat people again on stage? Oh, we are. It's like their progress or something? Oh, how embarrassing. Oh, we're doing that today? We really are? Looking at fat people. Well, we had some, uh, they're not fat. I mean, I didn't think they were fat, but they, they entered a contest. You know, it's all relative. Uh, yes. They uh, entered a contest to, to lose weight. Well, they, they get free balance for life, and uh, they get to work out at okay. a club. So. And then whoever wins gets something, but I forget what it is. More balance for life, I think, and more working out at the club, which doesn't really seem like a victory to me. Seems like you should get a pie or something. A meatloaf. Yes, that's right, Steve. The, <laughs> the meatloaf. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, are those people here, are they close by? Troy, don't go. You're going the wrong way, baby. Where's your miniature dog? He's here. Where's the miniature dog? All right. Okay. Your little dog, too. Let's look at all the TV cameras. Yeah. Hey, what is up? <laughs> Serious. Buzz is going to claim he's the John Bonet killer. <laughs> Boy, that's great publicity. I loved her. You see all the TV cameras they got? <laughs> Boy, if you can get pumped that way, I'll take it. <laughs> Pull your 
pants up a little higher, Buzz. <laughs> that guy's, that uh, John Bonet, uh, you know, the guy who claims that he yeah. killed her anyway. Uh, he's got he's got some man boobs too. He's, he needs a man's ear. <laughs> and he's got that shirt buttoned all the way to the top. Yeah, yeah. And the pants pulled way up. Yeah. yeah. He's bats. Yeah. He's totally creepy. Yeah. You want him to be the guy though, but I don't know. Oh, he should be. Yeah, he should they be in jail. They say he's not. Just for that, regardless of the John Bonet case. Yeah. All right. Okay, apparently it's it's kind of a, a little bit of a hush falls over the crowd when you talk about serious. the murdered kids. Uh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Me personally, I like Vegas Showgirl, John Bonet. That's my favorite video. But the night, the night that story broke, I turned on CNN. It's Larry King. And he's got John Bon Jovi on. So I think he got it. No, seriously, he did a whole.